Oh. Oh. What is that uh, smell? Uh, Mini Mario. What was the last time you changed your uh, clothes? Uh, your, your, when was the last time you changed your clothes? Man, don't look at me like that. We need to get we need to get to you some uh, new digs. You you dig? You you What's up everybody? This is Ven of the TTV channel here to welcome you to another episode of our Lego Super Mario series. Today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at all the power-up packs for the theme, which enable you to change the outfit of the LEGO Super Mario figure. And make sure that he's on so that he doesn't creep you out the whole video. But yes, like I said, you can customize the way that he looks. You can change his outfit depending on the power-up that you choose. What we have is the Fire Mario, Propeller Mario, Cat Mario, and Builder Mario outfits. Set numbers 71370 through 71373. Before we kick off the review, there are two things I would like to acknowledge. First off, if you're here because you checked out the first video and you want to continue seeing where this series goes, thank you so much. It's really appreciated. I'm glad you stuck around and I really hope that you continue to stick around for when we actually move into the expansion packs starting next video. These sets aren't necessarily expansion packs, they do come with some extra platforms so that you could expand onto whatever sets you already own, but the main draw to them is the customization of the Mario figure. And there are some new functions and features that come with that as well, so we'll get to that in just a moment. But for now, just wanted to say thank you again for sticking around. Secondly, I did want to mention something that didn't really get brought up in the first video all too much. Now, of course, we did talk about how interactive the Mario figure is and what he does when you scan barcodes, but something I didn't really go over all too much was the way that he reacts to color. The little scanner under him is a color sensor as well, and it reacts to whatever color is under him. So, of course, we've seen that the LEGO Mario figure has this little display on his chest. Now, that will actually change depending on the color platform that he's standing on. So, for instance, if he's standing on a yellow platform, then the display is going to show a bit of a deserty landscape. Same thing applies when he's standing on green. It'll show that he's standing on grass. When you put him on a blue platform, it shows that he's in the water. And at times, it'll actually play like little bubbly sounds, as if he was swimming about. And then, of course, if you place him on the red, he acts like he's burning up in lava, and he dies if you keep him in there. He doesn't actually die. He'll be totally fine so long as you put him on a different platform right afterward. The reason why I wanted to bring that up is because I do feel like it is important to acknowledge it. This could lead to so many possibilities when creating custom models. So if you have some sort of custom landscape build at home, then Mario can still interact with it just based on the colors that are available. So with all that said, let's go ahead and take a look at all these boxes and see what it's like to open one of these bad boys up. These are all four power-up packs. Each box has a little blurb on it telling you about what the power-up does for Mario. So for instance, the Fire Mario box indicates that Mario gains fire power. There's roughly about 10 to 14 pieces in each box. And of course, they all specify that LEGO Mario is not included. So it is pretty clear that these are just intended to give Mario the special power-ups. That's about it for the boxes. So let's go ahead and pop off these overalls and see what we're... They aren't very big or complicated sets, of course, so we're not going to go into full detail as far as what the build is like. You pop open the box, you'll find the parts and the overalls, and surprisingly, you will actually find an instructions booklet. Which, as we saw in the previous video, is not common in the LEGO Mario sets. But of course, with the simplicity of the set, I don't even think you really need instructions anyway, whether it's through paper or an app. Once you get Mario in his new outfit, the figure will recognize it and play a sound and show an icon on the display that shows the power-up you just gave him. Depending on the power-up, now Mario will react differently when you move him around. So, with the first power-up pack out of the way, I went ahead and just zipped through building the others. Now that we have them all out of the box, let's put Mario in each outfit and see what that looks like. So first we have Fire Mario, which looks pretty good. It's not entirely accurate to the game's design, considering the overalls are white instead of red, and the shirt is red instead of white. But, uh, no pun intended, overall, you still get the idea. 
Then there's Propeller Mario, which is probably the most accurate out of the bunch. I do really like the hat on this one in particular. Then we have Cat Mario, which probably has the best amount of detail, because if you flip him around, you'll see that he has printing of the tail. I think it would have been better to incorporate a little mold of the tail to go there instead, but I am still glad that they did this, because it's better than nothing, and the cap looks fantastic. Finally, there's Builder Mario, which is also a little inaccurate, but honestly, I didn't quite notice it as fast as I did with Fire Mario, so it doesn't bother me too much. Having all of these options brings me back to Super Mario Odyssey, where you could change all of Mario's costumes. I know, I say that as if I haven't played Mario Odyssey in like two decades or something. You know, oh, oh, back in my day, oh, I remember way back when. And the game came out like, what, almost three years ago? But whatever, that's not the point. The point is, it's really cool that this was a thing in a game and now you have it as part of the Lego line as well. And what really impresses me about it is the functionality. You know, like, how does Mario know what power-up he has? And the answer to that is in the overalls. When you look at the Mario figure without the overalls, you'll notice that he has these six metallic tabs sticking out of his belly. Now, the inside of the overalls piece is actually designed to tab in on these metallic parts in order to tell Mario, hey, you're wearing your normal overalls, or hey, you're wearing the Cat Mario overalls because the tabs that stick out from this piece are configured differently depending on the power-up. And thanks to this ingenuity, Mario knows when he can stomp around with attitude, or make cat sounds, or fireball sounds. I haven't quite figured out what he does as Propeller Mario, but you know, you could still make him go whoosh. That's still fun. So all in all, I actually really like all these starter packs. I'm glad that we got them, and I'm also really surprised that we got them. I didn't expect that LEGO would come out with something like this for this particular theme. But I mean, it, it makes sense. The Mario figure is still made of LEGO. You'd figure that you could still kind of take them apart and just kind of customize them a little bit to some degree, right? And the fact that he actually reacts differently depending on the outfit that he's wearing, that's such a huge plus. I really like that a lot. Though I will say, I would have liked if they included some sort of power-up brick to come with these uh, power-up packs. I would love to see them make more in the future, like based on different power-ups, like say Cape Mario, Tanuki Mario, Frog Mario, but I would imagine there are limitations when it comes to that, considering there's only so many configurations you can design with the overalls, so I don't think we'd see like a whole gigantic wardrobe for the Lego Mario but I still would like to see just a few more. That's pretty much all I have to say on that, so I hope you guys will stick around for the next video for when we begin exploring all the expansion packs. Of course, please subscribe, hit the bell, do whatever you like to keep up. What do you guys think of LEGO Mario? Does it appeal to you? Would you be getting this as a gift for a friend or for somebody's kid? You get it for yourself? Are you a big Mario fan? You know, share everything you like either on the message boards or in the comment section down below. Either way, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.